I'm with you. Okay. Hi, YouTube. I'm standing here with Deborah. Now hey. I know her name. Hey. She called me. This is the lady I was telling you about that I lost my wallet and she found it. Please tell them what you did to find me. I saw it on, on, on the ground. And? And I picked it. And I picked the number. And she went through the wallet and she saw the she saw that I left mm. my SIM card. That's I saw, your, I saw your picture. She saw my picture too. I saw your picture. But she saw that I left my SIM card with my registered uh, Ghanaian number. And she called me. Yes. And at first we didn't understand each other because she told me I lost my wallet and I didn't believe I lost my wallet. <laughs> and I kept calling her Mary. I said, is this no, Mary? No, no, no. Because she actually is a friend of my, uh, my husband. Don't you know Isaac from Tulum? Yeah, 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 I knew it. Yeah, so I thought he had introduced you. We stayed you. together. I thought you he introduced you as Mary, but your name is Deborah. Deborah. So that's why your she. Husband is there. No, he's he's a, he's actually at the post office. Okay. So yeah, so she found it. So this is what she sells. She sells bras, and she sells really nice cotton gowns. And I bought quite a few from her. And so my gift to my friend Deborah. Deborah. I told Deborah every time I come to market, I'm gonna buy a <laughs> cotton gown. It's everybody gonna have a gown, okay? Somebody gonna. I'm buying something from my friend Deborah because she looked out for me because my whole life was in that wallet, identification, and everything. Oh, why did you do that? Tell the people what you explained to me why you did it. If I know God, if somebody things fall down, the Bible says you shouldn't take it. You shouldn't take it. No, no. Okay, it's so not advisable. Oh, so see, she's a, a righteous woman. It's a good, righteous woman. Right? <laughs> All right. I just wanted y'all to meet Deborah. See, these are some of the small blessings that you get in the country. And they're right there in your face. There's always a rose amongst the weeds.